Okay, here we are back in Live Alive. And it's time to go into the arena, boys. To be the world's strongest fighter, the best of the best, a dream shared by many, but one young warrior believes he truly has what it takes to claim the title. By making the skills of other masters his own, he intends to prove himself. Muay Thai, professional wrestling, lucha libre, capo, sambo, and sumo. The most powerful techniques of the historic traditions he will learn. All he needs to do is bait his opponents into revealing their secrets. So this is another one that's got no grinding to it. You're just fishing for moves for the most part. No matter who they are, every fighter's got the same dream. To be the best of the best. Like no one ever was. That's why I've decided to go on this journey. To put my skills to the test. To challenge the world's masters and make their techniques my own. But they're warriors too, walking the same path, striving for the same goal. Heirs to traditions and keepers of knowledge. And like me, they probably got plenty of pride. They'll not give up their secrets without a fight. So I'll give them one. Push them to the limit and force them to use their techniques. do, I'll be ready. I'll see everything. I'll roll with the punches until they throw the ones that count. Now I know a lot of people probably want me to name them after myself, but we're sticking with Masaru Takahara. fight my way to the top, and the world will know my name. Or maybe I'll fall short in the end. But hey, only one way to find out. Yeah! Present day, the strongest. Okay, I'm splicing in here because the order I did this the first time kind of sucked. So it's going to take a little while, but we're going to do Tulahan first. He's the one I prefer. Russian Special Forces or something. Arm lock, cross, heel hold. Toverish of a great superpower. This Special Forces operator trained relentlessly in the art of assassination and hand to hand combat. He can render even the most powerful opponents helpless by striking at their joints and other weak points with deadly precision. Okay. Now the Fools and children fight with their fists. Come. I'll show you how civilized warriors make their opponents submit. Now the good news about him is his moves are counters, so you can kind of force him into using them, and then I'll start you off. So we're going to lead off with focus here, which is our heal buff move, that way we're a little bit more durable. And it's just due to the amount of HP and the fact I don't have the guy's weakness starting off, this is going to be a bit of a lengthy fight. We've only just begun. So this should give me arm lock. Your defense is now I can use these against him, which speeds up the fight. Uh, 
I take no choice. Damn it. And just like that, I have his moves. So, I don't think I can do the arm thing. That's his signature move, so to speak. You can't copy it, but it's his most reliable form of DPS. So the goal is to get him to use that so I can use the arm lock on him and free damage. This is actually the best move for him to use because it's weaker and it allows me to counter with a stronger move. If you intend to carry on like this, I will have yeah. to attempt. Now the only bad part about starting with him is it does mean you don't control the fights as much because the enemy can uh, provoke your uh, counterattack and end the fight prematurely. Pretty devastating in the Super Nintendo version, but since you can replay the fights in this one, not nearly as bad. Now, my goal here is to leave the Hulk Hogan wannabe for last. I didn't do that last time because there's two special fights. And since I'm taking the counterattacks first, I have to be very careful in these. I underestimated you. No longer. So yeah, the first fight's a bit of a slog, I know, folks, but there's not too much I can do for it. I'll actually look at his weakness real quick so I can tell you. That's not Muay Thai, I don't think, that he's weak to. Actually, yeah, that would be the Muay Thai kick move. That would be Nam Kiat's move. And yes, he can actually use his counter as a normal move, which kind of sucks at times. We need to get this off immediately so that we can use that against him if he kicks. And since we're in a really good position, if we're not disabled or anything, we can actually go offensive. It's just we want to make sure we punch because the heal is more important to keep free. There! Finish him with his own move. My techniques were not enough. <sighs> so there's no EXP or anything, there's no items, it's just learn the moves, you move win. on to someone else. Even with my superior grappling technique, you outwitted me. Well done. Why do you say Zangief? Anyway, all these guys are actually supposed to be based off some sort of real fighter of some sort, with the most obvious being Hulk Hogan here. Jackie Elkea. So his moves are the Aloha Slap and the Mono Toss. In sumo, where the most mighty and physically dominant athletes vie for supremacy, this Hawaiian wrestler was hailed as a once-in-generation talent. After failing to achieve his lifelong dream of becoming a Yokozuna, however, he renounced the sport and resolved instead to conquer the mixed martial arts world. Okay. Oh. Looking for a fight? Ha! Bring it on! I've never lost to a man of Japan! And if you think a sumo's all brawn and no finesse, you're in for a wake-up call! Now, the ideal way to learn the moves is you have to know their patterns. So this gives us Mono Toss. No, it doesn't, because he freaking whiffed. You chump. As you can see, if they miss, you get nothing. 
you have to wait for him to do it again. Yeah. So now we have Mono Toss. Another counter, apparently. And yes, I'm intentionally using something he's resistant to because I'm hoping he'll spa, uh, start using a. So was it Aloha Slap? not having much luck. So I'm just hitting LNR to get him to move. Eep. Here we go. Decent move. I like the knockback. Now, the secret to Jackie is he does have a third move for you to learn. Which we're going to be going after in a second here. Oh, now he's starting to spam this sucker. I hate you, Jackie. We're not friends anymore. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. So we're looking to disable his arms. This is his big secret move. He's using it again. I'm gonna be going quiet for the rest of the fight. Yeah. 
You're done! Have a shot at making Yokozuna! <laughs> Okay, now that we have, uh, what's your name? Jackie Iakea, I don't know how to pronounce that. We need his move to go to the Great Aja. So you can see from Mexico, Special Technique, the Frankensteiner, and the Tornado Press. This famed Japanese wrestler mastered the moves of the legendary luchador heel El Rudo. I don't know what a heel is exactly, and I'm too lazy to look it up. While his skills are impressive, his willingness to bend the rules of many of his opponents led some to call him the Angel of Death. Okay! Well, if it isn't the mother himself! Wanna learn a trick or two? Alright, I'll teach you how it feels to get your ass beat by the best! This is where you'll find the Watanabe scene. This was the hardest one to get in the Super Nintendo version, just because <laughs> the way this was set up was pretty crap. And it's hard to do. So first things first, we're going to go over here, and then we're going to start focusing. <laughs> you need to knock him into this corner. And we also still need to pick up his moves as we do all this. the move you need him to use. This match sucks! And so do you! Oh yeah? Suck on this! Leave my dad alone! Yep, that's your Watanabe scene. Shit! <laughs> uh, so we need to go actually get the moves we came here for. That disables the Frankenstein or anything. So I thought he had to be in the bottom right corner. Maybe he just has to be on the right side of the screen. There we go. So as you can see. Packs a bit of a punch. There you go, we got both moves. Easy, right? You're done. I think O Robo learns that move actually. It's his final move, level 16 or something like that. I know these two share a move, Monster and O Robo. Down. 
Yeah, one thing I just can't wrap my mind around is they took out the tequila and cigars to try to bring down the ESRB rating, but they still have the characters swearing and cursing like No Tomorrow. So this is the Muay Thai fighter from Thailand. His moves are Look Panjama Kick and Spiral Knee. Plus, with surpassing agility and flexibility, this young man trained night and day that he might transform his body into the perfect weapon and become a Muay Thai champion. Those who have faced him in the ring often speak of his divine right foot, which he can deliver a blindly fast knockout blow. Okay! You must be tired, having come all the way from Japan. Don't worry, I'll end it quick. You- You ain't even have a chance to lay a finger on me. Lucky man! Getting the chance to fight a champion! Very painful, I know. This is another annoying move of his. Huh. No way! I wonder why that one took priority. Huh. So you're not all talk! <laughs> This is his other move. I think this is a knockback. No, it's not. By the way, you can beat him just with counterattacks. Guess I'd better kick it up a notch. Basically, if you get to Lahan first, you can just take out this guy with the leg hold. And if you wait, you can just get someone else's moves to counter, like the mono toss. No way! What are you weak to? Ah, wool breaker. So we're gonna do the cross heel hold. So just think, if not for the mono move, this would be going off each and every time, and it would take him out really fast. A god made flesh cannot lose. And his defeat screen is reference to Street Fighter. Yeah. My beautiful face! Very well. You've won this one. Vega in the west, or Balrog in the east, have that line upon defeat. My face, my beautiful face. I assume that's a tribute to them, otherwise I'd just be one hell of a coincidence. Seiji Moribe! Um, from Japan, special techniques are fleet foot and celestial palm. Do not underestimate this practitioner of the ancient Japanese martial art of Kapo. He has rediscovered and perfected much that was forgotten, such as the Celestial Palm, a deadly strike which can kill a fully armored man outright. Okay! You seek to become the strongest, and so the path you walk has led you to me. There are many arts, but there is only one Koppo. Defeat me, and we will speak of its secrets. Now this is the guy most people recommend you start with. If I may. So there's the first move. Doing this to try to force him into only having arm moves left. Holy crap. There's more to you than passion and He may have just killed himself. Yep. Okay, good news. Huh? Come on, old timer, I'm giving you one more chance. Celestial palm time. I'm 
gonna try diagonal, maybe? USA, special techniques, the Max Bomber, and the German Suplex, the unquestioned king of American professional wrestling, has since leveraged his fame to become a Hollywood star. However, he has resumed his train with a renewed passion after learning of Masaru Takahara's ambition to become the world's top fighter. Okay! Like, I don't... Okay, brother! Let's do this! Max Morgan's gonna take you for a ride on the pain train! First class! I don't know if those are things Hogan's, Hogan says, or... What's going on with the facial hair? Because I always thought he had a goatee or something. Like, this is probably the only game I'll ever play where my lack of information about wrestling will actually uh, be a debilitating factor. Uh, so he's weak to wind, so the Aloha Slap. We actually need to use the Celestial Palm on him to try to debuff him. This one's for the people. You're not getting away from me. Yeah. Hopefully, you see why. Yeah. Okay, one last move, and then we've caught them all, folks. Tamer than the German yeah. suplex. So hopefully you can see all the debuffs that could do for you. Super effective. Something to remember. Hell yeah. Doing this one just to see if it will stop from using his moves. Could get the counter attack here. Cheese them kind of hard with all these knockback moves. Yeah. 
It's just they gave him a crap load of HP and I don't really know why. Hell yeah! There we go, we won. We learned all the moves, so that's one hell of a show. That's the end of the chapter, right? We can all go home now. You win! Gotta hand it to you, kid. That was a Max Morgan level performance. Maybe even better. And trust me, there's a reason why they automatically throw you into the save screen. Mercy will be your undoing. The so-called masters you defeated, whose techniques you made your own in your quest to become the very best. You left them alive, and so others were free to follow in your wake. I, on the other hand, and short my victories were complete. Without exception. Namkiat, <laughs> the naive brat. That Gaudi luchador, the great Aja. Simple-minded Han. Jackie, still dreaming of a squandered youth. <laughs> Max, who was never more than a mere showman. And, of course, that doddering fraud, Moribe. Each lay dead at my feet when I was finished. For true triumph is found only in death. In the extinguishing of a life and its legacy. You glory in nothing. <laughs> and who am I, you ask? I am that which you yearn to become, the greatest warrior. Odi O'Bright! You, you son of a bitch. A warrior, like hell you are. You're nothing but a cold-blooded murderer! With Namkiat's speed, the great Aja's acrobatics, Han's guile, Jackie's strength, Max's determination, Moribe's wisdom, and with my own righteous fury, I will end you! And with that, Masaru has become... Wait for it. History's strongest disciple. So, in the fan translation, they translate him as Odie Old Bright. I don't really know. <laughs> There's just too much here I don't know. Yeah! Only in death's dance can we ever truly enjoy life! <laughs> Let's try World Breaker. You're done! Ah! Ah! 
Should interrupt him. Don't let us down, Jackie. Fishing for a counterattack here, but he just knocks me back instead. Job Max. That won't save you. I was really hoping that would be an arm. Clearly, it is not. Now this, this is a fight. Look at me as I beat you. Well, there you have it, folks. He breaks bones, but we break worlds. Feel my righteous fury! Just begun, boy. This ambition of yours. One. One after another. Without end. Others will come. To take your head and your crown. You stand in judgment with bloodied hands. And will again, as well you should. It is your nature. How long until the next? <laughs> I wonder.
It's you, isn't it? The greatest warrior. Which means that when I've beaten you, I'll be the best of the best. But yeah, that is the wrestling chapter, the shortest one of the bunch. Although it can be kind of complicated if you want all the moves plus the Watanabe scene. But Masaru is a pretty good all-around character if you want to use him for the finale. There's our favorite Jackie. It is starting to rain a little hard, so I'll go quiet while this plays out. Now I have not been paying attention to see if it's the same voice actor for Odie all the time or not. If I were recording these or something I could just pull up the video and check, but only if right. Now, don't panic about Masaru's low level, especially relative to the others. You level up kind of quickly in uh, the final chapter. So, we have another one down. But we're missing... Oh my god, don't tell me we lost the Asia thing again. The uh, China one, I mean. So yeah, we did lose the China data. This is the second time we lost it and I don't really know how we did. The important thing is we still have the others, so yeah. That really, really sucks because I'm getting tired of doing that one. <laughs> yeah, it should have been visible here, but... Oh, well. Hold on. Okay, so I can actually just replay the wrestling one like and get it. So yeah, I'll just repeat everything I did there, and without you guys watching, it'll be a little bit faster. When we pick up next time, it will be when we tackle the Psychic. I may need to take a day off between now and then. The Psychic's chapter is the longest one of the bunch, I'd say, and it's also the one that got the most heavily edited of the bunch. So we'll actually go over all the changes that happen as you go through it. Some of it's not too bad, some of it is just so stupid. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.